Dr. Jen with White Wave Body Work, and in this video what I want to talk to you about is standing posture during pregnancy. So one of the things that I noticed with pregnancy is because our center of gravity has shifted further forward, what we see with pregnant moms is that we shift our hips forward to try to compensate and lean our shoulders back. So we'll see that the shoulders themselves are further back than the hips if we're lined up or we're trying to visualize a lining up from ankle to knee to hip to shoulder to head. So we tend to have this posture during pregnancy where we're relying on our joints for stability instead of relying on our muscles for stability. And what happens during that is that because we've kind of got everything shut off, meaning the butt muscles are shut off in this position, the abdominal muscles are shut off in this position, our chest is kind of slumped forward, everything's kind of turned off and it doesn't have a chance to really strengthen or develop during our just normal standing time. So if we have an awareness around that tendency, we can try and utilize that knowledge just to avoid doing it as much as possible. Now, we're all human. We grow in a very similar way where this feels more comfortable than using my muscles to stand after a certain period of time. It's the amount of time that we spend in that thrown hips forward slumped position that really what I call would degrade the tissue. Like you're just losing the availability of strength to develop during those times if you're not utilizing the muscles. And a lot of times during pregnancy and postpartum, there's not a whole lot of time to set aside for exercise for a lot of us. It's very difficult for us to find that time. So utilizing things like posture on a daily basis and coming back to this awareness of where we are in space can be really powerful. It can be really helpful because it's a way for us to set up our bodies to strengthen. So if we're trying to do that, if we're trying to strengthen and have our bodies aligned in a way that supports us, it looks like ankles, knees, and hip bones here in a straight line, a little bit of a dip in the lower back, and a tall feeling through the spine and the crown of the head. Now by that tall feeling, I mean instead of slumping, thinking about elongating the side body and feeling like a string is being pulled up through our head, through the top of our head. So from the front, we can try to avoid standing on one leg and throwing one hip out, standing on the other and throwing one hip out. Trying to avoid standing on one leg too often during pregnancy, especially when we're putting on pants or getting in and out of a car. All of those things can, when you're standing on one leg for a long period of time, can really affect how much pressure is put through the pelvis on that side and can kind of shift our pelvis because we're so loosey-goosey from our hormones. So standing posture alone can be a way for us to strengthen and then avoiding doing something like putting on our pants and standing for a longer period instead sitting down to put on shoes put on pants put on socks and sitting down in the car with both hips with the legs out of the car um, and then putting both legs in the car at the same time can all be really helpful um, conscious, aware practices during pregnancy. It's something you really have to think about because it's probably not what you've been doing on the regular in your normal life. It's just not usually the way that we think about things. So trying to apply that concept of utilizing your muscles in a way that supports you can be really helpful during pregnancy for things like maintaining strength, and also avoiding pain. And that's what I feel like I'm all about in general in terms of strengthening and body awareness, but it's especially important during pregnancy. So I hope you learned something good about posture and ergonomic movement, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.